Hi, I'm Sandy Hutchins, the Young Adult Librarian at the Leesburg Public Library. Yes, and I am Miss Hannah at the Leesburg Public Library. And today we are going to talk about some of the exciting upcoming events at the library. Okay, what do you have planned for us? Well, our summer reading program we do every year. Yes. And people can win prizes and we get great performers who come in. Okay. And it's all brought to us by the Friends of the Leesburg Public Library. Oh, that's very great. So they, they sponsor everything. They sponsor everything. Okay. They are such wonderful supporters of the library. Mm -hmm. The money that they raise through the bookstore and the other events that they do through donations and mm -hmm. stuff, that's how we pay to get the performers to come in. Oh, wow. So without them, it wouldn't be possible. Oh, no, nothing would be possible without the Friends okay. of the Library. <laughs> without them, summer reading would be... Uh, very boring. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll but have yes. to give them a big thank you anytime we come into the yes. library. We actually start planning summer reading all the way back in November. Oh, wow. Well, a lot of the performers that we get, like Jiggle mm. Man, these really popular performers, they perform all over the state of Florida. Some of them yeah. go to Georgia. Some of them go throughout the country. Yes. So they book up very quickly because every library wants Jiggle Man. I mean. oh, he's, I've seen him on TV before. He's really yes. popular. He's been, on, he's been on David Letterman seven times. He's really popular. Yes. <laughs> Jiggle Man but he's is funny. so he's, funny. He's so great. Yeah, the kids love him. Um, so we have to start booking performers all the way back in November. Oh. So we've been doing that. We've got all of our summer reading performers booked. Okay. Um, it's going to start, officially summer reading starts um, on June 8th. Okay, so right as school ends. And then much. it goes through the end of July. Okay. So it's it's eight weeks long. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be for the summer and kids can sign up. There is an adult program as well. Okay. So adults can sign up, they can read books and turn in book reviews and then and they, they have do programs, drawings. Right? Yeah, they do drawings okay. at the end of the summer for the prizes. And the adults get performers coming in. They've got oh, okay. um, the author Mariana Evans is coming in. She was actually just here recently oh. for um, Bookfest. But oh, she's yes, coming yes. back because she's so popular. She's really they good. even have her coming twice because she's so popular. Oh, that's really good. So, and then the adults also have, they have a guitarist coming in. They've got oh, history programs, cool. all sorts of great things that they have going on. Um, a very important thing that mm -hmm. we have going on for the adults is a blood drive. Oh, that's and it's really not good. until July 23rd, but people, mark your calendars. <laughs> July 23rd, there's going to be a blood drive. The Big Red Bus is coming to the okay. library. Um, it actually ties in with our themed weeks that we're doing, because that week is Heroes Week. Oh, so you can be a hero and give blood exactly. to help people. Exactly. You can so be great. a hero and donate blood. The blood drive's on the 23rd from 10 to 4. Okay. So July 23rd, mark your calendars, blood drive. I know it's a long way off, but this way people can plan ahead that day. Well, that'd be great. People can come. They can help out the community by doing yes, that. Yes, exactly. That's great. <clears throat> Besides Heroes Week, which is okay. all the way in July, uh, when the summer starts off, we're starting off with a music week. Oh, that's really cool. So, okay. yeah, music week um, is in June. It's June 9th through 15th. Mm -hmm. And we've got some great performers coming in. Tampa Tycho Drummers are they going to be here that Wednesday. They're here every year. Yes. Uh, the kids love them. And they're so good. After the program, they always invite kids up to try out the drums themselves. It's mm -hmm. very interactive. Nice. But um, actually, our first performer of the summer on June 10th, we have Mr. Richard. Okay. I've never heard of him before. He's never been here before. Um, okay. He does a lot of programs, though, throughout Central Florida mm -hmm. at other libraries. He's never been at Leesburg Library before, though, but he's hilarious. He has videos on YouTube. He has music videos. Mm -hmm. He sings. He plays the guitar. He does funny kids songs. Okay. So is he the only new performer you guys have? No. We actually have quite a few new performers. Um, okay. We have the Pied Piper coming the next week when we have Travel okay. Week. The Pied Piper, uh, she plays the flute. She tells stories. Oh, wow. It's, it's really like interesting. Yeah, the kids will really like her. Um, yeah. We also have Chris Castle coming. Okay. Uh, Chris Castle plays the guitar. Mm -hmm. She's um, she's here for Pirate Week. She's going to do like, kind of interesting. like sea shanties and like, you know oh, what I mean? Like old one. pirate songs and things like that. Like she'll teach them to the audience and she'll sing songs and tell some okay. stories. And it's very interesting. Yeah, it's something I've never seen before. I might have to go see yeah. that one. I think it'll be great for the kids to learn yeah. like the old sea shanties and the pirate songs. That should be a lot of fun. Yeah, because we see a lot of the same people all the time. Just to get a new face is a really yes. good thing because yeah, it'll we, help the kids out. Exactly. We tried to make a point to get some new performers yeah. for summer reading this year. I mean, we do have the favorites. We have Tampa Tycho, Jiggle Man, yeah. John Storm's Reptiles, which oh, was so him. popular last year. We actually were full and had to turn people away at the door. Yeah. We ended up booking him to come back because yeah. so many people came last year. They, they love to see the creepy we animals. Were, we were maxed out. We couldn't let anybody else in the yeah. room. <laughs> it was yeah. very sad to have to turn away people and turn yes. away these kids, but the room was packed. He's so popular. Everybody loves the reptile mm -hmm. show. So he's definitely coming back um, in July awesome. for Animal Week. He'll be back. But um, 
The first event of summer reading is the summer reading kickoff, oh. which is going to be on Saturday, June 8th. Mm -hmm. And what time is that from? It's from 11 to 2. Okay. And it's not just us. Um, we've actually invited other libraries in the area to come. Oh, wow. So, so this really way good. you can come to one place and you can pick up a calendar for the other yeah. libraries in the area. So this way, like, if you really like Jiggle Man, you can find out when Mount Dora or Tavares or the other libraries have booked him. Oh, that's you could really go see good. him every time. <laughs> yeah, because there's a lot of parents that bounce around and go back to see all of them. Exactly. Because so sometimes, this way, like you said, mm -hmm. if John Storms is booked here, you can try to catch him yes. at another library. Exactly. Well, so we also smart. try... We, we work with the other libraries when we yeah. plan our summer reading program. So we try to plan our programs at different times. So okay. like our performers at Leesburg are Mondays and Wednesdays at 11 a.m. And that's new as well that because new. it didn't used to be on Last Wednesday. year we did Saturday programs. Yes. This year we moved them to Wednesdays um, okay. just because we have a lot of people going to town for weekends and stuff. Yeah. And we just get a bigger crowd during the week than on the weekends. So our programs are Mondays and Wednesdays at 11, but some of the other libraries do in the afternoon or they mm -hmm. do Tuesdays and Thursdays. We try to vary it up so this way people get the opportunity to go yeah. to multiple programs at multiple libraries. Okay. Now, so since they're coming here and they're going to give a calendar, <coughs> can you also sign up to do the reading program, like we get prizes as well? You know yes, I mean? you can sign up at yes. different libraries. You're you going to be able to sign there. up for summer reading here um, okay. if you come to the summer reading kickoff program or you can yeah. actually sign up anytime at the libraries usually yeah. once June starts, once the beginning of June happens you okay. can sign up. But we'll have the different libraries that will be behind our library. Mm -hmm. We'll have tables for each library. We'll have like a booth where you can sign up. There's also okay. going to be a face painter, oh, nice. popcorn, snow cones, um, games, prizes, so it'll be All a lot of fun. fun thing. Yeah, it's just a fun family day, Saturday, June 8th from 11 to 2 at the library. So it's perfect for all ages, so you can bring the little ones to come sign it up is. all the way up to adults can probably sign yes. up as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. it should be a lot of fun. It'll be a great opportunity for kids to get started for summer reading and That's sign really up with the good. program, and that way they can start working on getting their raffle tickets to win yeah. prizes. That's really good. So this year um, will be like last year where you can get, the children can get their raffle tickets and teenagers. Okay. When you check out a book, when you get your receipt, mm -hmm. if you bring it to the children's desk, okay. you'll get a raffle ticket for each book you check out. Okay. Can you get raffle tickets for anything else or just every time you check out a book? If you do an audio book, but not a DVD. Okay. <laughs> It is summer reading, so yes, not summer watching. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get raffle tickets by doing that, by signing up. Okay. Um, you can also get raffle tickets by writing book reviews. Okay. What about um, the tiny children? The Since tiny children all... will get a yeah. reading log when they sign up for okay. summer reading. It's just like a sheet of paper, and it has circles on it, marks on yeah. it. And you mark off, like, how many books you read or how long you read. We okay. leave that up to the discretion of the parent okay. to decide how the kids should be judged on yeah, reading so because like, every kid reads on a different level. So some yeah. kids it might be per book, other kids it might be per chapter. So like if you're a toddler, you can read to your toddler mm -hmm. instead of them reading. But yeah. they can still participate and get a prize as well. Yes, for that. exactly. Okay, My daughter's really two great. and she can still participate because it would be, you know, every time we read her a little Dr. Seuss book, for instance, we'd mark that she read a book. Oh, that's really good because that encourages them to read later on. Yes, great exactly. And so this way you can get a lot of raffle tickets. I mean, oh, for yeah. each book, you could actually get two tickets because you, you could get the one to yeah. check it out and one to mark that you read it or to write the review for it. And, and then every week yeah. we'll raffle off prizes with those raffle tickets. Okay, so the more book reviews, the more books you check out, the more likely you are to win a big prize. Exactly. So we have lots of stuff. And then all the tickets will go in for a big prize at the end. This year we're planning on doing a lot of gift cards for prizes. Oh, that's good. You can choose what you want. Exactly. Last year we gave out a Kindle. And mm -hmm. the year before that, we gave out an iPod. Aww. But there are so many kids who already have items. They yeah. already have MP3 players. They already have e-readers, that sort of thing. Or they have smartphones that they e-read on. Yeah, especially the readers like they normally have. Those yeah, already. like nowadays, you never know who already has stuff. So I find a gift card might be the, is probably the best idea this year. Just do a big gift card to Target, and then they can just pick out whatever yeah, they want. They could buy more books or whatever exactly. they Exactly. They could buy books, DVDs, music, whatever they'd oh, like. That's perfect. I think that'll be a great idea. Mm-hmm. But... Yeah, so mm. summer reading, it's a great program mm -hmm. to win lots of prizes, okay. um, but we still have a while to go, so it's just one yes. of those mark your calendars, the, the kickoff party's June 8th, and then every Monday and Wednesday after that until the end of July at 11 a.m. we'll have a performer. Are those the only things you have going on during the week is the Monday and Wednesdays, or you have other No, as we well? have our regular programs as well, okay. only a lot of them are bigger for the summer, because like yes. with my teen events that I plan, during the school year, it's usually a smaller event. It's mm -hmm. movies, it's crafts, that sort of thing. But in the summer, because of the generosity of the Friends of the Leesburg yes. Public Library, we can get people to come in and guests to come in. So okay. like during Music Week, the first week of summer reading, 
we are going to have Miss Mandy, the face painter, come mm -hmm. in. She, we've hired her before. She did the face painting really for great. Zombie Prom when yes. we had Zombie Prom. But she's going to come in for Music Week, okay. and she's going to do fake tattoos. Oh, see, that's cool. I've never seen that teens. before. Yes. And the teens will also be singing karaoke. We're going to okay. have a karaoke contest and fake tattoos. So it's kind of like come be a rock star, get a tattoo, sing a song. Yeah. That, that sort of good. thing. So you do a lot more during those events than during the yes. year. Yes. In July, so. we'll have um, Jessica Watkins, the cake lady, come back. Okay. She comes every summer and does a cake decorating class oh, for nice. the teenagers. It's always our biggest event of the summer. Okay. We usually have to turn people away. It gets so crowded. That's one of the reasons why we always recommend come early if yes. you come for any summer programs because oh, they fill up fast. When kids are out of school, we get a lot more people than we do during the school year. Well, I know for like story time, our numbers tend to double, even triple. And yeah. we get people like the firefighters and Uncle Donald's farm and the room gets packed really, really quickly. And yeah. so it's hard sometimes trying to sing to 40 mm -hmm. kids because the room fills up so quickly. <laughs> yes, but. it does. Well, especially when we have food at events. Yes. We always have a limited amount. And so I know with the teens, I with the cake decorating, I usually have 30. I plan for 30. Yeah. So if I have more than 30 teens show up, somebody's not getting a cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you, just, you have to come on time. Yes, you do. You have to come on time, especially um, with the performers on Mondays and Wednesdays because then it yes. does get very crowded. And our meeting room holds couple hundred people it holds a lot of people but still we get a lot of people in the summer kids oh, people yes. are looking for something for their kids to do and free entertainment I mean it's a great opportunity but yeah you do have to arrive early well we also get a lot of people from out of state I know a lot of grandparents come and they have their children down and they're always excited about it mm -hmm. they come and they help fill up the room whereas before we didn't have all those visitors yeah oh yeah everything in the summer is bigger oh yes <laughs> <laughs> so you had mentioned that you have the fire department coming yes that will be very cool for the kids. Yeah, they're going to come. They're going to bring the fire truck. And we don't do it all the time. It's not something mm -hmm. we do often. So it would be nice for the kids to come and see the firemen and explore the fire yeah. truck. That is so, very cool. And it's great that we have people in the community like that are willing to come and help with the programs as well. Yes. So, mm -hmm. That way if other people in the community want to volunteer or they want to be a part of it, they can just they come down they talk to us and we can mm -hmm. try to figure something out. Oh, that is a great idea. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, I know um, during Travel Week, you have one of the other librarians. Yes, Miss Claudia, because she speaks English and Spanish, and the kids love her. She used to do story time before, and she just, she loves the kids. She can make every animal noise known to man. <laughs> We've had yes. her on here before. For um, So she'll be doing a bilingual story time. Yes. Oh, that'll be great for the theme for Travel yes. Week. Yes. I know for the teens for Travel Week, we're going to be doing uh, Fear Factor. Oh, but wow. with foods. So we're going to get foods from different countries that's really and have cool. the teens try it. So there'll be spicy food and food that's kind of gross and things like that. <laughs> and we'll see what they're willing to try. That'll be really fun. I'll make sure to get some good food, too, yeah. that isn't quite so gross. But the idea is to how much are you willing to try. And yeah. I've seen some of the foods from the other countries. There's some things I wouldn't try. <laughs> yes. But it'll go with the theme, the travel theme. So that'll be... Very good that they'll have all these options for the summer. Nice. Very cool. All right. Well, I have my cheat sheet here, which is our calendar <laughs> for the summer. So anyone who wants to know what our events are, they should just come in and get a calendar. We actually mm -hmm. do them every month Okay. because I know um, the May calendar is available at the library. But we've also got the summer calendar, which we actually have both June and then July's on the other side. Yes. Yeah, so this way, I always put one on my refrigerator. This way I can oh, yeah. keep track of what programs I want to take my daughter to. Mm -hmm. And I can see what's going on. Because, like, I see you have preschool crafts Yes. on Tuesdays at 4 o'clock. And I know you do that during the school year. Mm -hmm. But you're going to be doing it in the summer as well. Yes. Oh, well, that should be a lot of fun. They should yeah, really like that. Yeah, the kids like it. And it's good for the kids that even though they still go to daycare during the summer, mm -hmm. they can come after daycare and they can do a craft and whatnot and socialize with other children. And it also gives parents a break because sometimes right when you get off work, <laughs> you know, your kids are still hyped up. It's good to come and take a seat yes. and relax. Yes. Well, and, uh, speaking of crafts, yes. you have a craft for us. Yes, we have. It is a little Cinco de Mayo pinata. There's nothing in it at the moment, mm -hmm. but you would fill it up, and obviously you have a string at the bottom, and you would pull it. And it's just simply made out of a toilet paper roll. Everybody has these that around their house. very cool. They're great for kids. You can make them for, like, even little birthday parties if you want to give each kid an individual mm -hmm. pinata instead of trying to fight with the big one because, you know, there's always a kid who's mad that they can't get it open. Yeah. 
So you just take one of these, and I have tissue paper. You can use whatever color you want to use. I was going to say, you've done this before, and I, you made chili yes. pepper ones once. Yes, you'll undo it, and you'll roll it into a cone to make a chili pepper. Oh, very So cool. you can do, I've even seen where they unroll it, and they made like a donkey, and you wow. can make quite a bit of mm -hmm. hearts. You name it. You just got to yeah. get a little crafty. You can print a template online and just simply oh, do very it. Very cool. But you're just going to take this. You're going to cut a square because you need a piece for your bottom. It's a little windy in here. Keep going the other way. Oh. Now this part I kind of cheated on. What you're going to do is I cut a little hole. You just put a little hole through. You're just going to take your string because you need something to pull. With the chili pepper one, we just simply broke it in half. Mm -hmm. But for little ones, it's easier to pull the string. So you put that through. You just use some tape. You're just going to tape the bottom. And then I go ahead and I tape this side too to make it a little more forceful. Yeah, you wouldn't want it accidentally opening up. <laughs> no. <laughs> and you can really put anything that you want in here. Mm -hmm. Whether you want to put okay, so yeah, that way you just tape it on, and when the kids pull the string, yeah, everything falls fall. out of the pinata, just like a normal pinata. <laughs> that is very cool. And I just tape this on. I go all the way around. If you want to try, you can try. Sure, <laughs> I'll try one. I've never made one of these before. Oh, here I'll have to cut the string when you're done, so we can both have some string. So you're gonna do that part, and then um, you're gonna take your tissue paper. You'll have, I'll have to cut a string for you. Yeah, don't worry about it. I didn't think about that ahead of time. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so you'll cut your tissue paper just into like these little strips. You can do thinner, bigger, however you want to do it. I did the bigger because it's easier with the kids to do mm -hmm. a bigger version. And then what you do is I folded it afterwards. You can cut each little slit individually, but it's so much easier if you just fold it. Okay. So you just fold it on over just like that. And you're going to take your scissors, and then you're going to cut where the side is. So oh, that, you just make like a little fringe, yeah. sort of. Okay. And then you just keep cutting up mm -hmm. to, like you said, make the fringe. Oh, that is very cool and so easy to make. Yeah. So it'd be it's great for kids simple. to do. So have you you've done this with the kids at the yes, library before? Yes, we did the chili pepper one, and actually we had some parents who wanted to come and do it as well, so I helped the parents do it. Because, like I said, they're great for parties, mm -hmm. and the kids like to fill them with candy. They're more about oh, the candy yes. than... Kids love candy. candy. Yes. <laughs> but we filled them with candy, and then they broke them open and they ate them. Oh, and very it's, cool. It's great. It's simple. You can just do, like I said, just a simple little pattern, or you mm -hmm. can get more into it, and it's easy to do. It takes maybe about 10 minutes, mm -hmm. and when you're done, you just rip it open. Yeah, and it's great because it's something yeah. that would work for each kid. It's yes. little, kids can take it home with them, so it'd be great as if like a favor for a party. And for the parties, I've seen, instead of covering the top, because mm -hmm. you can cover it, they put everything in, and then they just add a string at the top, and they made like a garland, so it hung on there, and each kid oh. would grab theirs and then pull yeah. it down. That is a great so idea. That makes it, it's very fun. It's very cute. Where did you find this craft? Did you? Uh, the chili one I seen online, I just, mm -hmm. I was trying to find a pinata because I wanted to do it at home. Mm -hmm. And then I just, when you Google, there's other little pinatas. Yeah. You just type in mini pinata and oh, you'll wow. find all kinds of stuff. That is very cool. Yes. Very okay. nice. And we do these kind of crafts with the tweens mm -hmm. all the time. And we're going to have them during the summer as well. And, so, and they go throughout the school year. Yeah. Yeah, because I know we have Crafty Kids every Thursday at 4.30. Yes. We do Crafty Kids. And the crafts are always different because mm -hmm. I know when I when I plan the Crafty Kids crafts, I'm always going online and trying to find new crafts because yes. you don't want to repeat. Kids come no. in and they've already done something. They don't want to do it again. Oh, no. They like to come <laughs> up with something new. And in the summer, all the crafts will fit with the theme weeks. Mm -hmm. So we have Music Week and Travel mm -hmm. Week and Pirate Week in June. Yes. And then in July, my cheat sheet, <laughs> we have Wild West Week, okay. Circus Week, Science Week, Heroes oh, wow. Week, and Animals Week. I like the themed weeks because sometimes it's hard to stick with the theme of summer. Yes. So doing the theme weeks, it keeps it new. You know exactly. I mean? Every week it'll be a different theme and all of the programs will fit the theme. So whether you come to Crafty Kids or Preschool Crafts, Story Time, the teen oh, events, yes. the tween events, all of them will be with the craft. So Wild West Week, we have Matthew the Counting Cowboy coming mm -hmm. and we have the Talico Indian Dancers coming. So those are our performers. Okay. But then we're also going to have... Um, 
cowboy and Wild West themed events for Perhaps. the other programs as well. Keeps so this way, yeah, it keeps it fresh. Every week mm -hmm. it'll be a different theme, and so it'll always fit the theme. Yeah. So it's a great idea, um, and it should be a lot of fun. I might have to dress up for the theme. Yeah, I'm I know I'll probably be dressing up for quite a few. I'll have of, to see what I can find weeks. in there. Don't think I have anything for Wild West Week, but Pirate Week I could definitely do. Oh yes, <laughs> could be a mad scientist for Science so. Week. Oh Things yeah, like that. it'll be a lot of fun. Yes. And we have um, a lot of favorites from last year coming back, like the okay. water party we did last year. Oh, we had the water popular. slide and stuff. That's actually we're doing for Pirate Week. Oh okay, we'll that's have smart. The water party always water on the water. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have the water party again, okay. but we'll have the giant water slide. Oh, that was a big hit. Yes. We and then keep kids off it. in July during Science Week, we're going to do Sci-Fi Day again. Okay. So we'll have the Doctor Who Club back. So we'll have oh, nice. the Daleks and the aliens and things like that people can get their picture taken with. And the lightsaber. Okay. This lightsaber is made out of pool noodles that we See, did those made good props for pictures because I know a lot of yes. the parents, they took the pictures and they're like, oh, I put it on my Facebook and I used yeah. it. People love the pictures. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it should be a lot of fun doing the themed weeks and that sort of thing. Um, uh, I do know that there are some donations that we're looking for um, okay. for Science Week. Uh, with the teens, we're going to make marshmallow shooters, which okay. we've done before out of PVC pipe. Last time we made them, um, we were very lucky to mm -hmm. get a bunch of PVC donated from an office building that had redone some stuff. Mm -hmm. And one of the employees thought, hey, maybe they could use this at the library for crafts. But we've since used up all the donated PVC. So if okay. anybody at home watching this has any PVC pipe, like the half inch, one inch, doesn't really oh. matter as long as the marshmallow will fit into it, <laughs> we will take it off your hands. Like any but scrap yeah. pieces, it doesn't matter how small it is. Um, that sort of thing, because we're always looking for donations at the library. So we are definitely looking for those. And really anything we can use for craft supplies. Yeah. I know that um, just recently I planted a lima bean yes. in a CD case, just an empty, clear CD case. And you put the soil in and the lima bean in, and you can watch it grow because the case is clear. And it's a great way to recycle an old CD case. And it's very cool because since it's clear, kids can actually see the root system and like mm -hmm. learn about the plant and everything. Yeah, because you can't normally see that. Yeah, because normally when you plant it in a pot, you don't get to see the roots. No. And most so, people don't think, you know, oh, I can give them a CD case and they could use it. Exactly. Like, so, I, I, a lot of people do donate the um, toilet paper rolls yes, and cardboard rolls. We get a lot of those. We get a lot of egg cartons. But people don't always think about some of the other things we could do. We've done crafts with scrap fabric, pieces of ribbon, oh, like broken the things jewelry. that most yeah, yeah, broken jewelry, the things that most people would throw away. Mm -hmm. I we look at and we're like, oh, I can make a great craft out of that. Oh, yeah. And that doesn't occur to everybody. And so yeah, we're looking for PVC pipe right now. That's the main that's the main thing that I have on my wish list yeah. is the PVC pipe. But we're always willing to take whatever you've got really. We can usually come up with a craft for just about anything. Well, I know we got the marbles donated. It yep. took us a while to find a craft, but we did the, the marble painting, and the kids loved that. Yes, we it did. So we did great. marble painting. Um, you use a box lid. Yes. You want a box lid that has the lips around the edge so the marbles don't roll mm -hmm. off. And you put a piece of paper in it, and you just squirt some paint on, put the marbles in, roll the box around like this, and it makes these great, like, modern art sort of designs. <laughs> really it's cool. like everyone in Lee all the kids in Leesburg turned into Jackson Pollock all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. So, and that was great. We got the marbles donated like a year ago. They mm -hmm. sat on my desk for like a year. I didn't know what to do with them. And then we found this marble painting online and I was like, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, anything old Legos, because we have Lego Club. Yes, we, we do have Legos. Lego Club every Monday. That's actually the one event of summer that's probably not going to go with the themes too much. Although maybe yeah. we could make a pirate ship during Pirate stuff. Week yeah. and see if we can maybe make some musical notes or something during Music oh, that's Week. Really smart. Make a guitar out of Legos. That would be really Drum cool. set. <laughs> <laughs> that sort of thing. So yes, we're always looking for Legos. We also um, recently got a PlayStation 3 for oh, gaming okay, for the new. library. Yes. Uh, the friends of the library. <laughs> they were so great. So we got a PlayStation 3 recently. So we now have a Nintendo Wii, a PS2, and a PS3. Okay. So anytime anybody wants to get rid of any games, yes, we games love really donations helpful. of games. Board games, too. Well, really, yes. anything like that that we can use for after-school programs and summer programs is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I know with new gaming systems coming out, with the PS4 coming out soon and oh, the Wii yes. U just came out, there's a lot of people who are upgrading. So if you're getting rid of your old system and your old games, please consider donating things to the library. Yes. Yes. We love donations. Oh, yeah, because there's a lot of stuff you just outgrow. Yes. Well, and all these wonderful performers that we hire mm -hmm. throughout the year, we're booking our summer reading programs and hiring people paid for by the Friends of the Leesburg Library. Yeah. The money come from that comes from the bookstore. Mm -hmm. So 
that's a great fundraising opportunity for us. And so any books that are in good shape, we do need books that are in reasonable yeah, shape. People don't want to buy books with the covers ripped off no. or moldy. I know mold is an issue mm -hmm. with books. We're always trying to keep track of the books at the library and make sure that mold is an issue because in Florida it's so humid. Yes. You have to watch out for that. Well, I've even seen uh, a few DVDs and a few CDs down there as well. Yeah. And the, uh, the VHSs. Believe it or not, people still buy those to take home to their kids. I buy VHSs. <laughs> Anytime I see kids movies, like the Disney movies on VHS at the bookstore, I always buy those. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the bookstore has some great stuff. So if you have things to donate or if yes. you want to buy stuff, it's a great way to support the library. Oh, yes. And help fund the summer reading program. I bought a bunch of books for our upcoming baby from in there. So. Yes. <laughs> well, and yes, if anybody sees Miss Hannah at the <laughs> library, she is expecting a baby at the end of the yes. summer. So feel free to congratulate her, <laughs> our new mom-to-be. Yes. So thank you, everyone, for thank watching you. our show. And if you make a chili pepper pinata, please take a picture of it. Yes. You can find us on Facebook under Leesburg Public Library. We mm -hmm. also have the teen page, Leesburg Teens. And uh, feel free to pop in and see us. And we hope to see you at summer reading.